Hello, welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial, we'll go through how to trim a mesh with a 3D sketch. For this, I'll be using our example, which is available in Help, Examples, and you pick the last one, which is this freeform shape. Quickly go through the 3D sketching by selecting Surfacing, 3D Sketch. It's already in the mode which is to add curve. I will just click here and double click to finish the, my first um, curve here. Then I'll create another connected 3D curve, which looks like this one. I'm not precise just because it's for demonstration purposes. I can just double click at the end to complete my drawing. I can go to modify curves and I can just adjust this the way I want it to be. What I'm trying to do now is to define the area which I need to use to cut the, the mesh. If you want to modify your mesh, I recommend that you normally just duplicate so you have always a backup of your original mesh. I select this copy, then I go to Edit Scan. Now what we have in Edit Scan is a mode which is called Split the Mesh with the other primitives. In our previous video, we explained how to do this with the surfaces, but in this video, it's all about the 3D sketching. I'll just click on this. Because there is only one 3D sketch, it's automatically pre-selected it here. But if I just click somewhere in the space, you see that the selection is lost. So make sure that you select the 3D sketch, which needs to be active. Let me explain what you see on the screen. Temporary, I will just hide the mesh. The software takes the 3D curve and builds what we call a trimmer. The trimmer is a surface that is perpendicular to the mesh and allows you to use it as a cutting tool. Let me just show again the mesh and I can just press preview to see what the result will be. What is the depth of this uh, surface? It's important. You can play with this offset. You can just type it one. The main idea is that when you do this trimming, it goes completely and well through the actual uh, 3D mesh. Again, you can press preview. And if you see this color thing, then you're done. And go back in the individual meshes. For example, I can just pick this one and delete it as I don't need it. So this is really the, um, the basic of how the trimming with 3D sketch works. And now I'm going to load an example, which is, you can see it, how it works in practice. I'm going to open this customer example. So here is the example. And in this application, the customer wanted just to cut this shape that later it can use it for um, automatic uh, surfacing. I can just quickly go and edit, so you can see my pre-created 3D sketch. On purpose, I'll just move it slightly, and for the demonstration, I'll go now, select the mesh, edit the scan, and go to trimming. You can see now that in this case, as I said, it follows the normals of the mesh, and the shape is like you see on the screen. Let me make it bigger so you can get a better idea for you. So I just preview here and you can see the shape of it. Now what is wrong here is that it takes the normal from the mesh. So be careful when you define your uh, trimming curve. This is really important. I'll cancel this for now. I will just go back and edit my 3D sketch. And we'll play this back to my original surface. You can see that the curve is defined slightly above where the fillet is because this is what we need to achieve. Now let's repeat again the same thing. Select the mesh, edit the scan, go to split. It's pre-selected. I see that this is um, the offset is good enough. If it's you make it too small, if it's one millimeter, for example, in some of the areas, it fails because you didn't manage to go through the whole mesh. And that's why it fails, as you can see uh, in this um, area. That's why make sure that this is big enough, like this one, and press preview. 
and you can get a nice and clean cut. Then the next thing would be I can just go, you see I have four meshes, I can go to individual meshes, pick this one and tell the software to remove everything else. Now I created this uh, nice pattern mesh and let me just uh, go and complete my project somehow, which might be also educational for you. I can go and try to get rid of all the holes. We'll just measure this. Oops, we'll measure this. Click here and it tells me that roughly the diameter and I say, okay, fill all the holes with this size. I still have five something going on here. Let me see it, uh, another mesh, which is not really nice. I'll just keep it for now. This one, I can probably fill it. Then I can repair this one. My goal is just to have as minimum as possible uh, meshes. I just left this not nice area here. We'll just select and press the feature because this is really not nice for the automatic surfacing. We'll just get rid of the holes in this simple way, brush over, delete. And I achieved nice and smooth uh, shape. Still, I'm not ready for automatic surfacing because of my boundaries. I can just go, select my outer boundary and smooth. The automatic freeform is really powerful too, but it requires a very clean and nice mesh to get the best results. Let's go now to automatic freeform, press this, press go, and you can see now in less than a minute the result that you can achieve from this shape. You can see now I still have some problems, probably I can just go and repair this just by deleting the shape, I'm using the fill holes, we'll use the bridge tools, fill semi-hole, probably this is the one. So again my goal is just to have a nice and smooth mesh that is suitable for automatic surfacing, press again, preview, and you can get the result. So this was a practical example about the trimming of the curve over the mesh. I hope that you like this video and it's useful for your um, learning the quick surface. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.